David Shapiro is in the studio, and a good day for shares, Dave. It was the second day in a row uh, where the market picked up literally in the last 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we were up 0.7% for most of the day. We were nowhere. Slightly better, slightly down, but it looked like a very dull day. Slightly weaker rand as well, mm. 8 rand 29 mm. to the dollar, 13.35 to the pound. That might have helped. Alec, you know, there's an interesting story. I think the views in, in global markets are quite negative about the outlook. In other words, that the recovery is going to take longer. And I watch interest rates. If you watch interest rates in the United States, the long rate, which is the 10-year rate, has come back from over 4 now to 3.1. In other words, the belief that, it's, uh, that interest rates will fall. You know, in other words, interest rates go up when there are inflation worries, when there are worries about growth. So that's come down quite dramatically. So has Warren Buffett got it wrong about inflation? Well, it'll, it will emerge. It mm. will show its head, but, uh, but uh, it'll probably take longer than we thought. But uh, rates are coming down. There is money flows um, back out of out of out of the rand back into the United States as a safe haven. Mm. It's so, in interesting. Mm. Every day brings another new story, oh. doesn't it? What about the story today of very mock this uh, <laughs> Mike von Straten? Remember, we had him in the studio, yeah. Mister Hundred Bar. While he sold his business at two rand fifty to shareholders in the JSE, he today voted his own shares, still held fifty percent of the company, to buy it back at. 50 cents, 20 cents in the rand. I asked MTS Ahmed what he thought of this. It's staggering, Alec. I'm, I'm really quite disappointed by this. Unfortunately, one's become accustomed to this kind of behavior by directors, major shareholders at this time of the market cycle. But I'm quite sure that investors are not going to accept this. I think, you know, there's, there are governance issues here that need to be considered. And I can't believe that the JSC and others would allow this to to happen. At this stage, we have got hold of the JSC, and they said they weren't prepared to comment about it. Do you think that's because they are analysing the implications on company law, etc.? I think so. I think sometimes the behaviour of management takes everybody by surprise. But you've really got to stand back and analyse it. It's it's not something one 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 would easily expect. Like you know, if you expect an event, you plan for it, you think about it, you've got a judgment for it, or you've got a process for it. I think you know this is just scandalous, as you say. Well, David, do you regard it as scandalous? He has a company that's now worth 52 million rand. It was worth uh, well, he banked 100 million rand cash. Yeah. Mm. So he's taking 25 of that mm. and buying back mm. the company. Well, I spoke to Julius earlier, Julius Cobbett. I think he might have written on money. He did indeed. Yeah. But uh, I said to him the same thing. I think even if he did have permission, and I don't know enough about the law, I think the, the right thing would have been to hold back and let outside shareholders, other shareholders, decide on whether he was doing the right thing, whether it was a fair price. But obviously he sways the vote, and mm. it's, a, it's, it's no contest. But how does the person... I don't know how themselves. he got it through the JSE, though. Well, I don't well, know how he got it through the securities regulation panel. I did ask the JSE. Panel. They're mm. looking through it. They're looking at it. Mm. Um, he says, through his PR company, he wouldn't speak mm. to us directly, he says that he got legal opinion that what he's doing is legally correct. Mm. We'll find out from the JSE whether yeah. it doesn't seem to be morally correct. No. And it, uh, we'll no. find out from the JSE whether it actually contravenes their rules, in their opinion or not, hopefully tomorrow. They, mm. they, they still... As uh, MTS and I were discussing, they still are going through it. But interesting to see, the share price of Verimark today went down to 46 cents. Uh, so it's supposed to be bought out at 50 cents. Mm. There might be people saying, he ain't going to get this one through. I, it, there might be uh, contentions, but I think that, quite honestly, I'd just take the money and run. I think that uh, <laughs> you know, 46 cents, you'll be paid out 50. Just go look elsewhere, because it's a kind of company that, uh, for the last four years, has del had made a lot of promises, delivered very little. And this just kind of exposes how ma you know, the, uh, the ethics of management. Mm. And don't buy from very mock ever again, <laughs> no. if you were one of those people. Mm. David, outside of that, gold mines offering eight to nine and a half percent. Mm. They uh, they initially offered seven percent to workers. Uh, the workers demanding fifteen percent. So we could have another face off there. Uh, yeah, it is, and it's weighing on the shares as well. I still think there are a lot of worries about what this is going to mean. Number one for inflation in the country, and also for the profitability of gold mines. It is a big factor in their life. So uh, th there are a lot of still labor issues that have to be decided upon, not only there, but also in the construction companies. And, uh, and uh, still in the mining sector, one company is doing particularly well is Kumba. 
Yeah, did you see the, the trading <laughs> update? I today? thought they were fairly good results, but looking at analyst reports, they were on the disappointing side. But the market liked them and, and pushed them up. And I, even though they're going to be and not as uh, well as everybody was expecting them to be or as, or as um, strong as everyone expected, they still pay big dividends and they still mm. make very big margins. So I like them. Interesting now. thing for people who didn't follow it, iron ore prices have been under mm. pressure. The global economy is struggling. But in the six months to the end of June, Kumba are going to be mm. uh, reporting at least 18% better in the headline. Well, I think share. that's good because, you know, they're selling more. Maybe maybe analysts expecting them to uh, higher production and uh, maybe they expect it in a lower cost. But I still think it's one, it's one of my favorite companies, even in a market where we expect prices to go down. But it is interesting, David. You said that analysts were expecting better, but mm. the stock market itself, the investors, uh, were mm. buoyed by these Positive, results. Yeah. Yeah. If you can put 18% if you're in the mining yeah. industry, you can grow yeah. your profits 18% in the first half. Yeah. Uh, share price up by about half a percent today. Yeah. Mm. It's still an area that you have to watch carefully. I like it. You know, it's still one of my favorite stocks.